What do we do on his death date? Am I supposed to celebrate our wedding anniversary or have their birthday even when they're dead? Do they have birthdays when they're dead? Both my mother and my mother-in-law wanted me to be excited about and involved in their projects to memorialize Matt's life, an excitement I did not have in me at the time. Every time they went on about this tree or that garden and how I needed to be involved or choose or attend, I had to fight back the words, I don't want a stupid tree, I want him back. I don't care what flowers you put there, it's your garden, not his. And oh, the number of times I had to bite my tongue and use my grown-up words when some distant family member insisted on a hyper-religious memorial that would have made even Matt lose his temper. In the end, of course, no one could truly win. No matter what got planted or who gathered in his name, my love was still dead. He was still not coming back. The truth is, there's no one right way to honor someone you love. Each relationship leaves its mark. Each mark is yours alone. Your way of memorializing a life is right only for you. One of the best things someone said to me as I approached Matt's one-year date was, you always have the right to leave, even if you just got there, even if you planned the whole thing. No one else has to live this like you do. Leave whenever you need. Just having that permission to leave made it easier to stay. No matter what you've planned, you can change your mind at any time. It's also okay to not plan anything, instead waiting to check in with yourself when that special date comes. Often the lead-up to a big date is harder than the date itself. Maybe you want to do something, maybe not. You might ask other family members and friends how they'd like to plan the day. Encouraging conversation, leaving room for resistance and refusal, is an elegant way to gauge how the people in your life are feeling about those dates. For your own close family unit, or sometimes, to be blunt, what's left of it, incorporate elements of each person's vision into the day. While others may join in your plans, remember that they will have their own expressions, too. They deserve the right to decline, to pull away, to not participate. Everyone grieves differently, and everyone has a different way they memorialize or acknowledge the person who is gone. To the best of your ability, offer respect to other ways of doing this while honoring your own needs. Remember that no one is likely to be 100% happy. Memorials and anniversary events are often a hot spot. Tempers flare, old issues resurface, social skills erode. Whatever you choose to do or not do, do your best to pace yourself. Keep checking in with your heart about what you might need in any given moment. None of this is easy, even if what you've planned goes beautifully.